Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can record and edit this video. Let's go. First go to the first link in the description and download OBS. This is the software used to record your gameplay video. Second go to the second link in the description and download DaVinci Resolve. This is the software used to edit your gameplay video. Click free download now and select DaVinci Resolve over DaVinci Resolve Studio. Once you have OBS downloaded, open it and click the plus icon in the bottom left corner. From there, you can name this scene whatever you want. Hit OK. With the scene you just created, selected hit the next plus icon and select the option that says Window. From there you can name this whatever you want. Hit OK. Click on the drop down menu and select Your Game. Hit OK. You are ready. Hit the button that says Start Recording to start recording your gameplay. You know it's working if the red ball appears at the bottom of the OBS window. After you are done recording, hit the same button you used to start the recording to end the recording. You can see the location where the recording was saved on the bottom left of the OBS window. After recording your gameplay, open DaVinci Resolve. Double click Untitled Project to open a new project. Make sure you have the Edit tab selected on the bottom of the screen. Next, go to File, Import, Media. Search for the gameplay recording you just took with OBS. Select it and hit Open. DaVinci Resolve asks you if you want to change project frame rate. Just hit Change. Next, drag and drop the gameplay footage to the timeline. You can adjust the height of the layers like this, and you can use Alt plus scroll wheel to zoom in and out. To remove the audio, hold down Alt and click the audio. With the audio selected, hit Delete on your keyboard. To change the speed of the recording, right, click it, and select Change Clip Speed. From there, you can choose how fast you want it to be. I recommend 300% for 3 times normal speed. Hit Change. You can add a fade in effect by dragging this small white box in the start of your recording. You can use the same method to add a fade out effect to your video. To add text, go to Toolbox, Titles, Text Plus. Drag and drop Text Plus on the layer above your gameplay footage. Select the text you just dragged onto the timeline and click Inspector from the top right corner. After that you can edit the text to say whatever you want. You can change the font. You can add an outline and a shadow to the text by going to shading and doing as I show you here. To change where the text is located on the screen, select the text layer and click this rectangle icon. You can then drag the text to where you want it to be. You can add a fade in and a fade out effect to the text just like you did with the gameplay footage. You can duplicate the text by holding Alt and dragging it. It's important to save your project often in case a crash happens. To save your project hit Ctrl plus S on your keyboard and choose a name for the project. Hit save. Let me show you how you can make a cool pop-up animation for your text. Duplicate the text you made earlier by holding Alt and dragging it. Remove the fade in and fade out. Change the font to something bigger. Position the text to the middle of the screen. Move the playhead to where the text starts on the timeline. Select the text and go to the Layout tab. Remember that you need to have Inspector selected from the top right corner. Click the small gray diamond next to the size control so that it turns orange and change the size to zero. Move four frames forward on the timeline by pressing the period key on your keyboard four times, then change the size to 1.2. Then move two more frames forward on the timeline by pressing the period key two more times. Then change the size to one. It's done. Now when you watch back the video, you see that the text now has a nice pop in animation. You can copy the text by holding down Alt and dragging it. You can change the text and reposition the text. Next up, let's add music. I recommend using copyright free music in your YouTube videos. Good copyright free creators are NCS and Kevin McLeod. Just right click here and select Import Media. You need to download the music first before you can import it. I recommend a software called 4K Video Downloader. 
that is the software I use to download music from YouTube. Once you have your music here, just drag and drop it below your gameplay. If the music is too long, you can cut the end of it by first selecting the blade edit mode and then clicking where you want to cut the music. Click the cursor tool, then click the part of the music you want to delete, then press delete on your keyboard. You can add a fade out effect to the music. Our video is done. It's time to export it. Hit the rocket icon on the bottom of the screen to go to the export tab. Scroll the templates and select the YouTube template. Scroll back and select custom export. Change the quality to automatic best. Make sure you have all the same settings as me. Then click add to render queue. Write a name for your video and choose a location where you want to save the video. Then click save. Then press render all on the right side of your screen. Wait for your video to render. After it's done rendering, you can watch the finished product. Alright, subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.